So one of the heritages of Trustonic, obviously, is ARM. And at ARM, uh, the, the company looked at what were the issues in the PC. Uh, and so, well, as we know, you have uh, software that's trying to protect your software against very advanced uh, software-based threats. And so it seems like an unwinnable battle and very reactive at best. Uh, so at ARM, there was a technology invented called TrustZone, which basically said you can separate out uh, you know, uh, what's going on in software and protect it using hardware in the chip. And that's what's effectively uh, changed over the years is in the mobile device, there's much better security technology uh, available than has ever been available in the PC, which means that you don't need to use the same methods to protect yourself as uh, antivirus or, or, or sort of anti-malware solutions. Uh, and the education really now is the technology is there in most devices. How do you encourage a bank, an enterprise, you know, a healthcare company to make use of this technology, uh, which will actually mean that uh, your, your assets are protected using hardware, which means that it's immune to things like software, viruses, and malware. The powerful point here is this isn't, you know, when people talk about hardware security, they traditionally associate this with like a, a dongle to get onto your bank or get onto your enterprise uh, network. Uh, that's not very sympathetic to how we access our services. We have multiple applications on our devices. Uh, so what you see actually is this is already embedded within the device. Uh, and then as a, as a user, it's completely transparent. But as a bank, what I do know now is that my application and my customer's data is protected in this separate world, away from Android or away from iOS, for example. Uh, and that means that I can do things differently, which means I can give you access to your services uh, more simply and in, in a faster way. You have this chip, and that you know people understand it's a big uh, processor. It's got gigahertz of uh, speed. It's got gigabytes of memory. Uh, what you've traditionally seen is that runs the big operating system like Android. But now with this technology, what happens is it's a bit like uh, two train tracks. It can switch between this uh, normal world running the uh, operating system that is very powerful but not necessarily completely trusted to a much smaller, much more secure environment that's completely separate from that main operating system. So that's good from a security perspective. It's good from a trust perspective. And clearly, there's a lot of potential for it's good from a privacy perspective to protect your assets or your customers' assets from general snooping, whether that's the operating system or viruses, malware, or something malicious.